Hey, what is up you guys? It is me, Savage Coasters, and today we are here to talk about one of the most discussed coasters of the 2019 season, Hakuge. Ever since Nagashima Spa Land announced that their old wooden coaster, White Cyclone, was said to receive the infamous Rocky Mountain construction treatment, enthusiasts all around the world were absolutely ecstatic. White Cyclone was one of the world's largest wooden coasters and possessed something that many other RMC conversions did not have, tons and tons of wood. The structure was huge and enthusiasts started to flood the internet with their predictions for the massive coaster. Many of us avid coaster freaks started to speculate, could this be the best coaster in the world? Is Steel Vengeance, a coaster that we all thought would reign supreme for years, be bested in less than a year? Eventually, Nagashima Spa Land released a rough video about the ride's layout, which was met with mixed reactions. Some immediately jumped to the conclusion that we were in store for a Steel Vengeance killer, while some were left wanting more. As the ride continued to be built, the divide between the two groups grew further and further apart, and this leads us into today's video, Why Hakuge Sucks. First and foremost, it doesn't. I do not get the people that say that this ride looks like trash, or that it's boring. It's quite clearly an amazing ride. RMC provided yet another amazing coaster full of airtime and hang time. In my opinion, it is clearly the best coaster in the park, and one of Japan's top coasters. Although the ride is amazing, it certainly does have its flaws. One of the main critiques the ride faces is the waste of potential. With such a large template to build off of, we could have easily seen a coaster that would crush virtually every other coaster in the world. There are some awesome elements throughout the ride though, such as the enormous double up and the outward bank turn, but much of the ride lacks the crazy pacing and intense airtime that many of the top RMC coasters incorporate. One example of this would be the double down, as it is quite drawn out compared to other airtime moments on RMCs. I find the double down to be an unfortunate attempt at one of the best elements on many coasters. Another area that receives tons of critiques is the turns after the second inversion. In the original video, one of the turns was originally going to be another outward bank turn, which would have resulted in another moment of great RMC ejector and lateral Gs. This change in the layout was quite disappointing to see happen and caused that area of the ride to seem sluggish in the end. Many enthusiasts seem to have taken these flaws to heart, almost as a personal attack on their core being, and this all resulted in a triad of hate. All throughout social media, triggered enthusiasts seem to trash the ride as often as humanly possible. I mean, at this point, are you really a coaster enthusiast if you don't get emotionally worked up about the flaws of every coaster in the world? Overall, I think Hakuge, despite its flaws, is an amazing ride. Do I think it is on the same level of rides such as Steel Vengeance, Lightning Rod, and Wildfire? No. But do I think it is a perfect fit for the park's lineup, and would it be a ton of fun? Of course I do. At the time of recording, I believe it would easily make my top 20. And that about wraps it up for today. What do you think of Asia's only RMC? Sound off in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you will be the first to see what I upload next. If you want to follow me around on all my various coaster trips, follow my Instagram account at savage.coasters for even more content. See ya!